John Walter was a prominent Edmontonian. He uh, came to Edmonton in 1870 and started working as a boat builder for the Hudson Bay Company. After that, one of the things he's most known for is that he started the first ferry going across the river. And what does the John Walter Museum feature? Uh, it features all three of his houses. Each house had, I guess, a different purpose depending on what he was doing in his life at the time. So this is the 1875 house. That's right. This is John Walter's first house where he had a whole bunch of businesses. So this is where he started his ferry office. He had a telegraph office in here. He offered room and board to people that were coming and needed a all place to stay. All in this little space? Yeah, all in this <laughs> little space. So it was amazing. Like There's stories of him giving his bed up if someone needed to stay and then he'd sleep under the stairs. In 1886, he met his wife, and he had just built a bigger house, which is, which is nice. She was crossing the ferry, and so he had this nicer house to offer her, and uh, just because the other one had gotten a bit too cramped. So the 1886 house is a bit more of a family home. You can definitely see um, there's rooms for the kids. They had two sons, and they've been built, and just a bit, a lot more space. Check this out, an old commode. If you had to go at night, you don't have to go to the outhouse. You can just do your business right here. The 1901 house, which is the greenhouse, and that's kind of the showpiece of everything, is the house that he built when he had accumulated most of his wealth. And it had everything. It had electricity, it had running cold water, there was a furnace in the basement, so it was, it was a state-of-the-art house. So we're in the parlor of the 1901 house, and as you can tell, it's much different from the other two houses that we've been in. Mrs. Walter, she loved to entertain. I like to imagine that this was one of her favorite rooms with the player piano and then uh, an accordion over there there. It was great. She always had kids over and she played the piano and sang and she, she loved to bake for them. And It was a very so, fun yeah. room. And what are some of the different things that people can experience down here at the museum? Most exciting for people is that we usually have interpretive activities every Sunday so people come down and they can bake with us or sometimes we make crafts. So there's lots of hands-on interpretive activity that you can experience. And why does the city want to keep this history here? I think it's really important just in the fact that it is one more strand of our story as who we are as Edmontonians and where we are today and what built us up. And then as well they can just get an idea of who John Walter was. There's a lot of people who are familiar with Walter Dale but they don't connect it to actually who is John Walter. So um, it's nice that they're able to actually see the houses where he lived and experience that. 